Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review. Now over Christmas and Christmas Eve, we did get a couple of notable mod releases, specifically a couple of brand new weapon mods. And so I'll be doing some videos on those over the coming days. The first of which being the FN Scar H Battle Rifle by Subleader and Friends. That's right, the FN Scar H now has another mod representing it for Fallout 4, and this one is absolutely beautiful. Now, it's important to note that this mod is specifically the Scar H, the heavy 308 shooting battle rifle, not the light variant that shoots 556. So, this will be intended for short bursts for mid to long ranges, though you can, of course, throw on a pistol grip with no stock, fully automatic, and just see what happens, because it is a video game. With this mod, you're going to get a brand new custom model with a bunch of beautiful textures for the Scar H, as well as a legendary variant that can be found out in the world. We'll have a little bit of a location spoiler later in the video. You will have custom animations for your sprinting, reloading, melee, just about everything under the sun, as well as the option for a tactical reload patch, which makes the reloads different depending on how many rounds you have left in the magazine for a touch of immersion. Speaking of patches, there is a leveled list patch that will add this weapon to the world, so if you want to be able to find it in your game, download the patch and it'll start spawning after level 25 on different enemies and vendors, though you can also craft it at the chemistry station in the base version of the mod. Or alternatively, you can always spawn it in via the console. Really quick, let's go ahead and check out the custom animations available in this mod, starting with equipping. Go ahead and show off the partial reload from the tactical reload mod. As you can see, you just insert the new mag, but if we do a mag dump... We do have the proper reload where you actually put the bolt back into place, which is nice. We also have custom melee, grenade throwing, and sprinting. One small thing I want to bring up before we move into stats is the iron sight picture. I am a sucker for beautifully crafted iron sights, and these ones are perfect and very, very usable. And I really like the jiggle when you walk, the front sight stays on target while the rear sight jiggles. That's just a nice touch for easier aiming. So when you first get your hands on a Scar H, assuming that you have no perks on, these are going to be the stats of the weapon. This thing has a base damage of 48 as it is shooting a 308 rounds, has a fire rate of 40 in semi-automatic, a range of 251. It is a battle rifle, so you will be putting down targets at long ranges. It has an accuracy of 80, a weight of 6.8 pounds, and a value of a whopping 2,039 caps. Now, if you do have the leveledless version of this installed, I feel like this is definitely a good way to make some money, but it won't start spawning until level 25, so you won't be finding this to higher levels. You'll probably have a good bit of caps by then anyways. And before we move into the attachments available in this mod, I do want to go ahead and give the location and effects of the legendary variants included in this mod. So, spoiler warning, if you don't want to know where this is or anything about it and you just want to find it on your own, go ahead and skip to the timestamp on the top of the screen now. Otherwise, you have been warned. So the unique version included in this mod is the Warbird, and as you can see, this thing has a phenomenal skin that accompanies it with a shark's mouth at the front and a Warbird here on the side. This thing is meant to look like a plane, which is appropriate given that you will find this over at the Skylanes Flight 1665. The description of this weapon reads, not a plane, but close, and it does have the explosive legendary effect, making this for a very powerful weapon, and definitely a beautiful one to be running around with in the wasteland. Now let's go ahead and talk about the attachments available for this Scar H, as there are some really cool and fun ones. Starting with the receivers, we do have your standard allotment of receivers with the standard frame, light frame, and heavy frame, the calibrated, hardened, and automatic receivers, automatic armor piercing, hair trigger, powerful, automatic hardened, calibrated powerful, automatic hardened piercing, and advanced as well as automatic powerful giving you a maximum damage in semi-auto of 84 and a maximum damage in auto of 55. Then for the upper section, we do have the option to add in the SCAR H upper receiver and the SCAR SC upper receiver. This is going to change the way that the stock looks whenever you change out these stock options on the weapon. Speaking of those stocks, you have the option for no stock, collapsed and uncollapsed. These are going to be the same options depending on which receiver you pick. It's just going to change the look of it. For sights, we have your standard iron sights, the aim point comp M4 red dot, 
the M.21, T2, and T2 with riser, the Abarska MRS Red Dot, the Belomo PK06, the Elcan C79 4 times scope, the Elcan Spectre DR in black and bronze, the EOTech EXPS3, also available with a magnifier, the EOTech Voodoo Scope, which is a 6x magnification, the Holosun HS510C, the Leopold LCO, the Night Force ATAC R with an 8x zoom, the Schmitten Rubin PM2 with a 10x zoom, which is a gigantic scope taking up the entire top of the weapon there. The Sig Romeo 1, also available with a riser. The Trigicon ACOG, Trigicon MRO, Trigicon SRO, Trigicon SRS, and the Vortex UH1 Holoscope. For grips, we have the options for the Daniel Defense Grip in both black and tan, the HK Battle Grip, also in black and tan, the Hogue 15 in black and tan, the Hogue Overmolded in black and tan, the MCX Grip and the MIAD Grip, also available with a tan option, and finally, the MOE, only available in black. For the right rail, we do have some options with the option for no attachment, the M600V flashlight, the X300 flashlight, the laser sight with a PEC-15 box, and the DBAL-2 laser sight. These are going to be the same options available for both the right and left rail. We do have an option to change out the front iron sight. You can fold it down if you're going to use an optic. You can have it unfolded for the SCAR H variant or unfolded for the SC variant. We have those left rail options, same as the right rail. We do have lower rail options, which are going to be your grips. We have no grip, the AFG in black and tan, the FAB, the KAC, KAG, and also a KAG for tan, the Mod 3 in black and tan, the RVG, the Tango, the Tango in tan, the UVG, and the UVG Tan. Then we do have some magazine options. We have the 20 round PMAG, the standard 20 round magazine, and the extended 30 round magazine. We do have some different barrel lengths with the standard 16 inch, the CQC 13 inch, the long barrel in 20 inches, and the PDW in 10 inches. We have some muzzle devices here. We have the standard scar muzzle, the Claymore flash hider, the Hera flash hider, the Noveski in black and green, although the green definitely does match the tan of the scar. The Warcomp flash hider, the Bulltech muzzle brake, the Bulltech muzzle brake in tan, the CQB muzzle brake, the NT suppressor, the SOCOM suppressor, and the SOCOM suppressor in tan, and the SOCOM suppressor wrapped, which looks really nice. We do have two different sprint options, which will change the sprinting animation. We have your standard and the tactical, where you hold it with one hand. We have damage modifiers from negative 100 all the way up to positive 100%. And then finally, we have some material options. We have your solid black scar, the black and white two-tone, and the tan. Now, I'm not allowed to be picky because I'm not the one who made the mod, but I would love a black and tan two-tone. It's one of my favorite ways to look at a scar, but these work just fine. All right, and then finally, we are here for our damage test. We will be testing this weapon three times, one with the base variant of the weapon with no attachments, no perks, and no damage modifiers, another test with the weapon fully upgraded in semi-auto, and another one fully upgraded in full auto. That way we can see the maximum potential damage and the maximum potential kill time. Pretty interesting stuff. Let's start with the generic version of the SCAR with no attachments, no perks. Alright, that put down that Deathclaw in 13 shots. It did fall over with the Sniper perk, but that doesn't affect any of our damage modifiers. So, 13 shots with no attachments. Let's see how we do with our maxed out damages. That Deathclaw goes down in only 6 shots. Let's see how we do in full auto. So, still pretty fast, only 11 shots, but it's going to be spewing out lead much faster than the semi-auto versions. So yeah guys, that is the FN Scar H by Subleader. Definitely a wonderful mod. We have had a few scars out there, but I think it's safe to say that this one is definitely one of my favorites. Tons of customization options, leveledless integration, as well as a really cool, unique variant to find in the world makes this a wonderful, complete package with those sweet custom animations. If you want to try this one out for yourself, it will be linked down in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a rating. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this one, and I hope to see you in the future. Peace! 
And really quick, I'd like to make a shout out to all of our patrons. Your donations are greatly appreciated and really help to support the channel in videos just like this one. So again, thank you.